Perfect. Hi guys, thanks so much for your patience. Come on inside, take an inhale. And then as you exhale, come down. Your arms are lifting up and exhale. And your heels are heavy. Your knees are lining up with that second toe. And just think of this as warming up. You can even float through your fingers and your wrist. The inhale is also getting bigger and more expansive. Oh, that looks good, that feels good. And come down and when you're down, take a shoulder and it's like you're just looking over your shoulder with the other one. Rotate, rotate. And you may go lower. You're not gonna force anything, but you might notice you're warming up. Now we're gonna do a little bit of flexion and extension. So heart lifts and flex, heart lifts and flex, round and up and round and up. Now let's go all the way up. And once you're up, take your up and over arms and you can adjust your feet. So just think, it's like you're a tray, a tree with limbs swaying, breathing, Breathing, breathing. So you may go a little bit deeper, just waking up. One more each, and then we're gonna add on a little calf raise. Let me shut that door. <coughs> Open. And then both heels are gonna go up. Now you can lift up both arms and both heels. Each toe has the same weight. And that is a way, another way of saying your ankles are not kicking out up. And down. It's almost like a tennis ball between your heels. And up and down and up and down and two more. Now, this is a dynamic balance, so take a small little V and you're going to open up your arms, but you're going to take a degage or you could do batman as you get bigger. Three, four, five, six. Good, this is your balancing leg, seven, balancing, eight, nine. Now, 10 the other side, it's gonna be 10, nine, eight, seven, six, point flex, five, four, three, two, and one. Now one heel raise. So basically take your one, one footed heel raise. So one foot wraps around the other. If this is too hard, just do two feet at the same time. But it is really good to get uh, each leg its own attention. Eight, in case you've ever sprained an ankle in the past, you know how that feels to feel like it's a little less stable. Now drew the other one, 10. Now the same thing, practice each toe head getting all your weight and you're training the ankle as well. Your knee is soft, five, six. Your shoulders are soft, they're down the back. Eight, nine, and then 10. Now legs open. If you would like to take a squat, you can take 10 here. Your heels are heavy, your knees track. If this is not for you, you can go back to a double calf raise. Four, good. Five, six, seven, eight. Good, only go as low as your knees feel good with. Nine, 10. Now basic squat, so basic, like about hip width apart. Still let the arms go forward. Let me show you from the side. Your booty goes so far back, never your knees forward. Three, I'm gonna turn, good. Four, I see your knees tracking well. Good, everybody's knees tracking well. Six, you're in charge. Can you feel 50-50 on both feet? Or right, left, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And now let's take one little balance challenge. Try to take five circles with one leg and your goal could be, I'm gonna see how few times I can touch the floor. We're gonna do five each way. 
So you could challenge yourself and try to go into the other way right away. If you need to touch, do, and then just try to get back up when you're ready. This leg's working too in the glute. Nice, Shereen. And then that foot comes down and five on the other leg when you're done. You could think about a beach ball as far as how big the circle is. But you're in control because you want to do it where you have a challenge. Go the other way. Your goal could be that foot's off the floor the whole time. Neck is soft. Whew. Two. One. Now we're going to inhale and lift the arms. Now you're going to be coming down to a down dog. Bend one knee and bend the other. So we'll call it walk the dog. Bend one knee and then the other. Walk the dog. Five. Four, three. You can also go up with both heels and then down with both heels and up and down and up and down. If you need a modification, do a cat cow. Let your heels go towards the floor as you're ready for five. Good. Four, three, two. Shift your weight forward. Walk down to your forearms. Now just hold. This is going to be for 10, Not, and you can be on your elbows, Karen, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Try a side plank and just think of it as a warm-up for the core and the upper body. 6, 5, your modification would be hip or knee down, and go to the other side. I just need to turn to face you. Try 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now on the one, I'm just going to give you a, a chance to get your camera down. So if you, I, I can see if come of, some of you just want to tilt it down a little. Now um, also if you need to sit, grab it. And then we're going to go into some floor work. Mm -hmm. I can see you all better now. Good. With your knees somewhat bent, you're going to inhale your right arm back. I'm going to show modified first, and then I'm going to be adding on. Now, if you want to add on, you may be able to go down to your shoulder and then to your other shoulder. You can have your gaze follow the arm. I'm just looking at you for cueing. Six, five, good. Yeah, only go back to where it feels comfortable for a challenge. Your knees may lengthen, but you're not going to force that cue. Two. Good. One. Now take about 10 counts down. 10, drop a little. Nine, drop a little. Eight, drop a little. And I like to have the knees squeezing. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Big, big, big full body stretch. Shift through your arms, shift through your legs, and take the hands behind your head and slide your legs up to where they're on an imaginary table. Rotate your right shoulder to left knee and then your left shoulder. We're gonna take 20 of these crisscrosses, abs. Uh, neck is safe because you're keeping about an imaginary peach underneath your chin to your chest or pomegranate. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Recover your head, let your feet on the floor, curl up and down. Now this is on the floor. If you prefer, you could do it on a roller. Please choose what is good for you. You can mix it up as, as another option. Good. Up and down. Can you feel each part of your back waking up? Stay up and just hold. If you want to make it a little add-on, arms up, and this is a gentle stretch for your shoulders. 10, arms like a field goal pulse, nine, and then relax, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, little pulse, 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, lower down. Now hug your right leg into your belly while you take your left leg longer. Now your left leg comes in while you take your right leg longer. Now that's your move, but if you would like to add on, lift your shoulder blades and then do that hug, extend, hug, extend, hug, extend, pull the toes back, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, nice. Now head down, hands to your inner feet or inner ankles and just rock a little bound ankle, 5, four, three, two. Now let your legs long and take your ankle cap on the roller, lift up and down, lift up and down, lift up and down, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, hold it up if you can. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now lift up your right leg. Hold on to it. Right here is a hamstring stretch, but if you would like to add on, you can take your right hand to your right foot and your left hand above the floor or roller. Now your left hand could go behind your head as a way to help your neck. So that's one way. If your hand behind your head isn't what you want, you can put your left hand on that thigh. Yep. And relax for a moment. Take your left leg up and just notice you have a hamstring stretch. Right leg lengthens. Your right hand could come behind your head and help you lift up. Nice, Karen, that's what I would do. Yep, and then you could take your right hand on your right thigh if you want that more classic Either one, Betty, it's whatever you need. But lift up your shoulder blade and lift up your leg. You got it. That's it. And it's a hamstring stretch. There's a lot of things going on right now. Four, three, two, hands to your feet. Happy baby. All right. Now we're going to put the feet back on that roller or floor, whichever you have, whichever you prefer. Now you can put your right ankle to your left thigh and go up and down with a single leg bridge 10 times, or you could do a double bridge here. Hi boo. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Put that right foot down, put the left ankle on the right thigh, or if you need a modification, do both feet again. Three, four, bridging, five, Six. Good. Everybody's doing one foot. Seven. Eight. Now lower. Now put the legs a little bit longer. Micro bend the knees and go up and down and up and down. So we're doing a second set of these. Three. Good. Lift up the tush. Good, Betty. Four and down and up. Five and down. Six and down. Seven. Eight. Nine glutes are really important for back hair and ten. Now take a little breather and lift up your right leg. Now if your back kind of feels like it gets lordotic easily, you might like a pillow here. You're going to take your right leg up and draw circles on the sky. Circles on the sky. Big is harder, small is easier. Roots down. Now the other way, now I want you to grab that leg while it's in the air and just enjoy hamstring stretch, but if you can add on a point flex, point flex, and really work the toes as part of that work, as that point flex. Now just spread your toes, spread your toes, spread your toes, spread your toes, and feel
feel a hamstring stretch and then let's go to the other side the other leg goes up pour the other leg down and draw a circle big two your ribs are down go the other way You're going to hold on to that leg and make it a hamstring stretch. And if you can add on point and flex, really big, point and flex, point and flex. It's like you're reaching through the whole foot. You can even spread the toes and spread the toes and spread the toes and spread. Make sure you have a hamstring stretch. Relax your shoulders and your neck and eyes and then both legs come up. You've got them glued together. You're gonna draw a circle. You can put your hands near your uh, far end of your sacrum or beside your sacrum. Ribs down, circle only as big as you can keep those ribs down. Six and five. Two. One. Now, hug the shins, and I'm going to give you the modification for double leg stretch. It would be arms long, legs long, and then you hug. Arms, legs long, and then you hug. Now, if you want, you can lift up your shoulder blades and then do the same. Inhale, and you stretch out, which is hard because you're in this long lever move and your abdominals need to support you so you're inhaling to the side ribs and you exhale pull your belly in more and try three two really good one recover and you might even rock your hips right and left here move those ankles a bit we're going to take a hand behind the head position we're going to lift up both legs. Now start with the modification, which is like you're a pair of scissors. So this is the first move. If you want to add on, lift your right shoulder towards your left knee. Now lift your left shoulder. You got it towards your right knee. You got perfect guys. Perfect. And you have to feel, or you want to try to feel your belly pulling in when you exhale. And when you take to the other side, imagine that belly pulling in. Two. Now we're going to take a full body stretch. Way to start and stop when you need. When you're in this full body stretch, you reach through your arm, reach through your legs, and you're going to feel your low back get a little bit more attention. Five, four, three, two, and then you're going to put your feet back towards the sky. This is called double leg lower. Let me show you a tiny variation. Modification, just make it tiny. That's your opportunity to start in your layer. Now your hands go behind your head. Lift up your shoulder blades if you're adding on and then do that leg lower. It still doesn't have to be big, but if you can keep your ribs down, you can. I think the hard part is keeping the shoulder blades up, especially when the legs are far away from you. Five, four, three. We're gonna add on a possible bonus. Take it if you want it to. You're going to cross your legs, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Think of a ballerina, two, and one. Now rest, hug, rest, hug, and rest. Five, four, three, two. We are going to put our feet back on the floor or the foam roller for your bridging. And one foot now, excuse me, you're going to go up first. And then one leg goes in the air, and you're going to leg pull it down, point up, and down, and up. And you're lowering it and lifting it if you would like. Otherwise, your modification is to stay still. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, this foot, that working leg, goes on the roller or the floor. 
the other leg is going to do this really big pull and think of the leg pull as going through your heel and your toe as well as your leg. All right, feet on the foam roller or on the floor at the very top. I do a readjust, do 10 little pulses, just 10 little one or two inch pulses. Now an add-on would be knees touch and do 10 little pulses. A third opportunity is knees wide pulse. Lower down, take the right ankle to the left thigh as a stretch. If you need a pillow under your head, do that. That helps you grab that thigh without struggling. And you can rock here, you can move your ankle here. Other side, ankle of thigh. This is good, moving the feet, moving the ankles, giving them some training, mobility, really good. All right, fingertips behind your head. Now we're gonna take a set of crisscross, but with the toes pulling back. So pull your toes back from the get-go. You can rotate your torso, shoulder to knee. When you stretch out the opposite leg, you've got the toes pulling back. Rotate, 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 pull back. 10 more nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, recover, nice full body stretch, and we're going to come up, you can take a sip, we are going to be doing some swans, if you would like to have your foam roller near you, we're going to put this um, roller in front of our body, under our arms, but if you don't want it, you can also do this on the floor after you get your sip. Your elbows are long, your arms are wide. You go up, I'd say your arms are a couple inches wider than your shoulders on either side. I like to knife down with the pinky side. That way you, you're telling your serratus anterior muscle. It's a neurological signal that helps you stabilize your shoulder. Mm-hmm. Now go up and hold, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, lower. We're going to do that two more times. Just work in your comfort zone. Go up, 10, 9, breathe into your upper back, 2, 7, lower. Now we're going to do it one more time. Go up, 10, Okay, now rest for a moment. I'm going to show you the next one or just tell you and you can add on. You can either stay like you did up 
or tap your right hand to your right hamstring. And then you tap your left hand to your left hamstring. So choose what you need. Um, double check your neck. I have to chin tuck here sometimes to get my neck in neutral. So just make sure that you feel like there's no wrinkling happening at your neck. Try four more, staying up, four. Good, really push strong with the arm that's on the roller. Good, it really looks good. Both arms on the roller and go up. Now lower and we're gonna take a child pose. I like to keep the arms on the roller with this one and it's like a little bigger chest stretch. All right, hold that, five, four, three, two, and then we're gonna break it up with 15 push-ups that you can do standing up at your wall. You can do against your couch. You can do them on the floor. The main thing is you feel like your shoulders are down the back, your, your abs have this crunch sensation, or sorry, ab plank sensation. And inhale, so you don't droop in your head, and legs, Karen, and you don't droop in your ribs. Good, and that looks great. Then six, strong. Seven, good. Eight, and finish up. The goal was 15. Listen to your body, but if you can, five more. Four, three, two, one, and recover. A child pose or interlaced fingers, either one. Breathe, five, good, four, good, Michelle, three, two, and one. And then we're gonna go to a forearm plank. The option here is to use your um, foam roller and put the shins internally rotated on the foam roller. So that's an option. You could also just put your toes on the floor like normal. And I'll give you a little bit more once we get set up. So plank, elbows. Don't worry about your hands here. All right, you can do this with or without the roller, but if you're, you're gonna go forward and back, you really have to keep your pubic bone pulling up so your low back doesn't get um, tugged. So take 10. Good. Everybody looks good. Seven. Good. Six. You're not dropping your hips. Five. Four. Three. Two. Recover some way. Either rest your belly or like a Puppy dog pose with a booty in the air. Yeah, or a child pose with booty in the air. Five. This next one is either going to be dolphin plank, dolphin plank, dolphin plank, or you use your foam roller and you lift up into dolphin plank, dolphin plank. Either way, you're going to lift up and then come back to plank. Lift your hips and come back to plank. And up. And four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and rest. Now, this one's going to be inchworm, knees pull under, knees go long. If you need to just hold a plank without the foam roller, that's a great option. Otherwise, go long, pull your knees under, and then straighten. And it's okay if you have to adjust. I do like to internally rotate so you don't get your bones rubbed out or bruised. Six, everybody looks good. Seven, good. Eight, nine, ten, now um, you may have to adjust your mat We're going to do a hip lift next where it's a diagonal hip lift. So your hips go to the left corner plank, hips go to the right corner plank, knees long, pants adjusted, forearm plank, lift your hips left, plank, lift your hips right, plank, try to roll out your muscle and not your bone, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and recover. Five, four, three, two, and one. 
Now you can grab a sip if you'd like and remove your foam roller for a bit. We'll grab a sip. We'll take a side plank with a rotation and our hands are just going to be at our head in a split near the skull. So your side plank could be modified with your hip or your knee down or all the way up, then rotate. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Lower your hip and go to the other side. And you're going to go up with your side plank, rotate with your exhale. And recover nice now if you would like this is going to be a reverse plank with your foam roller can help you not bend the knees backwards can help you protect the knees or you can take a bound angle stretch the main goal is you're always doing something good for yourself during class so you lift your body if you want you can go up ten nine eight good seven love it six Five, love it. Four, three, two. Now let your booty down and we're gonna just massage the wrist. So hold hands with yourself. It really doesn't matter how you sit because we just want the spine comfortable as we massage the wrist. Each way if you haven't already. Mm -hmm. Now you can stay down or you can take an offer like a, a stretch of a bound angle or you can take an offer of doing two 10 triceps you can do whichever you want. If you do triceps, it looks like this, this. You bend your elbows and then you straighten them and lift. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nice, and I like that tip. You must have read my mind. I was going to say another thing you do is push ups there. Reach one finger or one hand forward and then pull your fingers down. It doesn't really matter how you sit. This is more about stretching out that wrist. Drop your shoulders. Take your other side, pull the fingers down. Oh, feels so good. So good. This is a great one you can sneak in your day. Palms pull down. Oh, long elbow. Yeah, long elbow will be more stretch. And the other side. Shoulders are dropped. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Without the, I'm going to offer us a sip, but without the foam roller, let's do some swans that are um, interlaced fingers at the low back or beside your hips. So grab a sip and then do a belly down position. I'm going to start us with our pelvis, hands at the pelvis, and lift up your upper back, lift up your toes. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Now relax, interlace your fingers, go up, inhale. Breathe. Relax, interlace your fingers, go up, breathe, nice, looking good, five, okay, uh, child pose or puppy dog pose here, I'm also going to take off this outer layer, I'll meet you back, and we're going to do a side plank with lateral flexion. No roller needed. No roller needed. Just take your elbow down, either your hip or your knees or your feet, and then go up, thread, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now the other one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Awesome. Have a seat. Legs long, but just know you can modify with a pillow or a blanket underneath your pelvis. Go out with your arms. That a girl, Betty. We're going to go up and over. And your inhale can lift you. Your exhale can take you over. We're taking 10 of these at your own pace. And you may go deeper because your body will warm up. You know, we stretched, we woke up this um, body at the beginning of class in this way. And you could think about both hips being Velcroed. Stay. Any kind of rotation you're craving. Long elbow, inhale, come up, and over, looking good. Isn't that nice? If you add a rotation, you get different fibers. Come up. Now, you're going to open up the legs a little. We'll go ahead and take a little saw. So you rotate first and then you reach. Just take 10 of these at your own pace. Rotate first and then reach. It's a little stretchy. It's a little strengthening. It's, a, it's stretchy in a few ways, too. Think about your arms getting pulled apart like tappy. Your hamstring. Your spine sequences up. You rotate. Try four more. Three more, two more, and one more. Nice job. Let me give this one called the rack. One arm up and pull it away like you are um, just using the floor for friction. You're not really heavy on the hands at all. Soften your elbows and then lift your heart. So you're not heavy on your hands at all. You're very light on your hands. Lift. Oh, good. I love this. That upper, that arm reaching away helps you get some scapular mobility too. Five more. Four more. Everybody looks good. Three. Two. And then when you're ready, you're going to come back and massage your wrist. We, I'm going to tell you the next one. We're going to do a little down dog, up dog articulation. That's on your hands. Um, if you do not like that one, you might do cat-cow or you might do forearm hinge, plank, dolphin. So please choose. I'll, I'll demo the hands wide, the heels reach, and you're like this upside down V. So if you know you don't like it right away, just go to your forearms. Otherwise, lift your heels, articulate through your whole back. Pass through plank and go into an up dog. I love that one. Now, good, Betty, and then curl your chin. Try to get through all of your back and then curl through your, lum your lumbar, middle, upper back, up dog. Tuck your chin. Curl through your upper, middle, lower, down dog. We're going to do six of these or so. You might need to do fewer or more, but at your own pace of breathing. So you're just really going inside and tuck. I've got us at three more, but listen to your body. Uh, nice. I like the way he shifted to down to cat cow. Because the spinal mobility is the theme that we're after. When you're ready, take a child pose and bend the elbows. 
That way you can get your triceps. Five, four. Go to your forearms again. Now in this one, it is more a hinge. So go to forearm, dolphin, forearm, dolphin. So your, your plank, shift your hips back, dolphin. Plank by hinging. Shift your hips back, dolphin. Plank. And neck is uh, soft, so you yeah, just double check you don't have any wrinkles there or tension. Three, two, rest your pelvis. At this point, you're in Sphinx. If you would like, go up to Cobra or, or Swan. Ten, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four. Now lower, but then lift up your legs. Now lift up your torso and press. Now at your own pace, lower your torso and lift your legs. Lift your torso. And your legs and your torso and your legs and your torso so just enjoy press up ten yep yeah, we're gonna hold ten relax your neck ten Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now lower down. You can either take your hands to your hips and lift, or you can hold on to your feet and go up. Ten. Lower for a moment and either take your other foot or do that again. 10. And then come to your hips. Take a moment. One hand's at your knee. Go up and over. I'm going to come closer. This is like, or this is a mermaid. Got it. Um, Betty, if you want, take double triangle. Nope. Take, yes. You got it. You got it. Yep. Perfect, Karen. And then lift that left arm over. It's like someone's pulling you. The reason this hand's here is so that you have more um, room to go. But, I mean, you could always modify if you need to with the hand. This hand that's in the air, put it behind your booty and look over your shoulder. We're going to take the other mermaid leg position. So switch it. Hand to knee. Go up and over. Everyone has it so far. Good, Michelle. Good. Uh, Karen, I think your other arm. Take your left, left, yes, and then go up with your other hand. You got it. Okay. Now breathe. This is another one that if you feel like you want to rotate, you're just going to make it more individual or customized. All of it needs help. And then the arm too. That's right, Michelle. Like that flipping is great. Now this hand that's in the air, it comes behind you and you look over your shoulder. and then exhale to come back nice job and then take your feet in front take an inhale 
And on your exhale, think about 10 counts down, 10, nine. And you may even squeeze your legs together like there's a penny between the knees and then your legs might even go longer. Five, four, three. Now inhale, an option here is to exhale and come up and over. If that's too hard, just stay on the top part of the roll down or do a hamstring stretch. But if you would like to experiment with five of these, enjoy the stretch right there and then enjoy the roll down. You got it, nice Karen. And the knee bend helps the low back articulate. Two. And one more. All right, now we're gonna put the feet on the floor and uh, open the knees a little bit, but the feet are on the floor. Reach the arms up and one hand goes between your knee and one hand goes on the side. So you're gonna reach, then lower and then reach. So think about one arm being between your femurs and one hand being on the outside. Just take 10 total or the best you could do. And you see how I'm doing it slow on purpose to make it more challenging. Let's take four more. Four, if you need to put a hand behind your head though, please do three, two, and one. Now a full body stretch, reach your arms long and your legs long and shift through those legs, shift through the body. Now belly down and we're gonna take breaststroke. I have to move my foam roller, but belly down, we're gonna take breaststroke. Now imagine you're in some water and you lift your torso up to come up for air and your arms are gonna sweep out in a large circle. Your hands could even touch your thighs on this one. Go out with your arms, but lift up with your back. Good, lift and just kind of notice how high are you getting on your own? Your arms are not helping you lift the, off the floor. Four, three, two, now a swim, right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg, right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. You can swim even more if you'd like. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hands under the head. Now lift up both feet and tap the feet while they're in the air 20 times or so. Neck soft. Five more and recover. Come back and either do a bound ankle or you can do a little frog pose where your toes are together and your knees are wide. Um, this is another place that if you like a pillow under your head or your forearms, you can do that. Knees, either bound angle or frog. Rest. Yep, nice. And do 25, or thir sorry, 30 counts. Gently come back to a seated position. You can sit on a um, blanket, like Karen, you might want to sit on your blanket or your, your, your pillow, and you're going to go out. Now you're just going to rotate cleanly. In other words, make, like I had to move for the wall, but just rotate cleanly. Try to even out, are you going the same as you are on the left as you are on the right? Notice your hips. They're going to try to shift your feet past each other, but try to Keep them stable so the feet don't shift past each other. Your arms are about parallel to the floor, maybe just a tiny bit lower. Four, three, two, hold it, hands down on the floor and on your thigh. Ten, five, two, 
Inhale, open, go to the other side. Just keep going and then put your hands down wherever they are, wherever they end up. 10. and then face front. Now lie on your side. If you would like a pillow under your ear, you could do that. This is stretchy and strengthening, uh, developé. So just draw a line up your leg and then I'll think about how high or how stretchy can I get in here as I come down. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Two, three, four, and work your ankle. Five, also just adding coordination like this is good for the brain to prevent cognitive decline. Seven, and breathing. Eight, making your ankle do something. Great, nine. Now, can we reverse it? Go up, and then go down the leg. Go up. Notice the bottom leg helps you frame the floor so that you feel like you're not gonna fall. Five, six, seven, eight. Get ready on this last one. We're going to be catching our leg. So let me do 10 total. Grab a leg or a foot or an ankle or a toe or whatever you have. Or you could even use a foam roller. Ah. And Karen, another modification is called can opener. You just bend your knee. It's kind of like a happy baby on your side. Foot towards the sky. Yep, that's called can opener. So either way is still going to get hamstrings. Now the leg that you were stretching goes in front. Just take the bottom leg up and down with your point. Now do 10 with your flex. Now we're going to go to the other side. Try to draw a uh, developé. So basically, take your leg up the other leg and then flex it down. Got to move that blanket a little bit. Mm -hmm. Work that ankle. And think about how high can I get it? How What's my flexibility here? Safe flexibility, not forcing anything. Go the other way. Now, can you catch that leg? And if you not, if not, just bend the knee and kind of pull it down. It's like happy baby. Uh, foot towards the sky, Karen, might be more like happy baby. Just, yeah, and grab your, you can hook it with your elbow if you want. Oh, it's easier, isn't it, right? Breathe. The bottom leg is helping to frame the body so it balances. That leg goes in front, and you're going to take the bottom leg and point the toes and go up and down. Neck soft. And flex at 10. Nice job. All right, we're going to either, you, you get to choose. You lie down and do an inner thigh stretch like this, big V, or you sit up and do it. So if you, you know you. You know what works best for you. Relax your neck. Good. And it might be a win-win win-win situation. So you just find an inner thigh stretch. Relax your neck. You can even move your toes or your ankles or spread the feet. Good. Ten. Might like a pillow on this one next time too, Karen. Four. Mm. 
inhale, come up and let's touch the right ankle to left thigh. Grab a pillow if you want and reach through again. And I know we did this one already, so if you want, you can do it again. Or if you want to take teapot where you fall over, you can put your right foot on the floor and your right arm out. So either, it, the main intention is you feel your hip opener. That looks great, Michelle. Great, Betty. Great, Shireen. Yeah. Ah. Now the chest and shoulders. Oof. Take your ankle to thigh, reach your hands through. Nice, or I got it, I love it. Open up. And just take a moment to pull your legs into your belly and relax. Take a moment to give your body appreciation for all it does, your mind appreciation for all it does, and your breathing appreciation for all it does. Sometimes we have bad thoughts about our body, mind, and our breathing, and we just want to recognize how good a job that they're doing. Wish them the blessing them to their highest good, to their highest wellness. And whenever you're ready, if you're not already, you can sit up or you can just take a moment to set that as your intention for the next couple hours, a heightened sense of wellness and appreciation for the body, mind, spirit, for all they do with our help and with our conscious effort and with our, without, even without our help. And whenever you're ready, let your eyes open. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.